हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्केल्स वेल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज एक्स एफ सी ई डेस्कटॉप कस्टमाइजेशन हाउ टू मेक एक्स एफ सी ई लुक ब्यूटिफुल एंड यूनिक सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड XFCE is a great lightweight desktop environment but it has one drawback and that is it looks sort of old as you can on your screen it gives vibes of some old desktop environment or some old operating system but you don't have to stick with the default looks as we can change these settings let's see various ways how we can customize xfce to give it a modern and beautiful look for this video i am using the fedora 34 with xfce as the default desktop environment you can also use the other distros of linux such as manjaro linux mint linux lite open source fedora spins and debian etc but make sure one thing and that is whatever the linux distribution you are using it should have xfce desktop environment to make these changes take place and you can have a new look of your xfce desktop environment first of all i will change the icons type for my application for that purpose i will right click on my screen and from there i will go to my desktop setting i will click on it and from here i will go to my icons category so just click on this icon buttons here and from here i can make any changes like at the moment it is saying file and launcher icon then we can also use minimize application icon and we have an option which says none i am going with the none option so as you can see that i have no application which is being placed on my desktop as default because i have changed this setting here we have the size of our icon for the different application we can increase this size and we can also go with the default one i will go with the default one after that i will just close this window after that i will go to my application manager and from here i will go to settings and from here i will click on setting manager then from here i will click on window manager and here you can see it says button layout i will change this layout and for that i will just move this one downwards and i will also move this one downwards and i want these three buttons to be shown on the top left corner of my windows so i will just click on it and i will drag it on the left side i will do the same with other two options as well and now we are done with this so i will not close this one because i want to do one more setting here and for that i will go back to all settings now i will go to window manager tweaks i will just click on it and now i will do some settings here in the cycling section make sure that you choose this option which says draw frame around selected windows while cycling and after that i will go to the compositor section and from here i will uncheck the option which says show shadows under dock windows now we are done with the settings just close this one and now it's time to download a theme for our desktop environment i will go to my browser and from there i will download a theme there is a website from where you can download different xfce based themes and that is xfce-look.org from this website you can download a lot of thing like you can download different themes you can download different icons for your desktop environment or you can also download different fonts for your system i am going to download a theme here and this is a search bar here you can write the name of theme which you want to download at the moment i am going with desert xfce just hit enter and here it is i am going to download this one for that i just need to click on it and a new page will get open from here we can download it and for that we just need to click on this button which says download and just click on this link again click on download click on save file and click on okay now a theme will get downloaded and we'll be able to use this theme as well to use this theme i have to go to my downloads folder so i will open my file manager and from here i will go to downloads and here is the theme which we have just downloaded i will right click on it and i will extract it here now i will just copy this theme and after that i will go to my home directory and after that 
I will view all the folder which are hidden as well. For that, I will just click here over it says show hidden files. And now I have to create a folder with the name theme here. So I will just name it as theme. And remember one thing that you must add a dot at the start of the name of your newly created folder because after adding a dot, it will be an executable folder. So now I will just hit enter. Now I will open this folder and I will paste the theme which I have just downloaded. So I will just close this one. And now to use this theme which we have just downloaded, we have to do one simple thing. Go to your applications and from here go to settings and in here go to appearances. And from here under the style section, here you can see the desert teal blue which we have just downloaded. So I will just click on it and you will see the changes which will took place after it. And here it is. You can see that appearance of our desktop environment has been changed. So now I will just close this one. Now I will download the icon for my desktop environment. And for that, I will use the same website which I have used to download a theme. And in here, I will search for this school folder. And here it is. So I'll go with this one. I will just click on it. And now I will download it just like I downloaded my theme. I'll go with Kiskol original. So I will click on it and my file will get downloaded after clicking on this button. So click on OK. And now our file has started to download. And here it is. Now again, I need to go to my downloads folder. And from here, I will extract this folder again. So I will extract it here. So I will copy this folder. And now again, I will go back to my home folder. And in here, I will create a new folder with the name icons. And remember, you should add a dot. After that, hit enter, open the folder and paste the file which we have just copied from our downloads folder. Now I will cross this one. And again, I'll go to my applications. Then I'll go to settings and then I will click on appearances. And after that, I'll go to my icons here. Here you can see that we have Kiskol original present here. I will click on it. And if you notice the icons, is changed here. So again, if I click on high contrast and down here, you can see that our icons are changing. So again, if I click on Kiskol original and here you can see that our icons are changing. So I will now just close this one. And now I will download and install the fonts for my desktop environment. For that, I will download fonts for my system. So open your browser and go to the link which is being provided to you in the description of this video as well. And what I will do now, I will copy the path of this GitHub file and now I will open my terminal. And now I will go to my downloads directory and after that I will write the command which is git clone and after that paste the address which you have just copied. And after that hit enter. And now our fonts are getting downloaded. And now. I will go to my downloads folder again and I will open this folder and in here I will go to my source folder and now from here I will go to my cursors folder and in here I will open my terminal here if I ls here and here is a file of installation so I will just write the command to install this and command is dot backslash install dot sh hit enter so we are done with the installation now again, I will go back to my downloads folder and in here I have a folder with the name XFCE setup. I have just downloaded this folder and the link for this folder has been provided to you in the description of this video. So please use that link to download this folder. So what I will do here, I will just extract this folder here. So now I will open this XFCE setup folder and in here I have a folder with the name of font. So I will just copy this folder and now what I will do. I will go back to my home folder and in here I will paste this folder but what I will do I will rename it and I will add a dot in front of it to make it executable folder after that just hit enter and now we are done with the fonts as well to use it I will go to my applications and from here go to your settings and then go to your appearances and from here go to your fonts folder so I will select the fonts for my system from here so scroll down or you can search for the particular fonts as well. So I'm going with Roboto and here is the list of all the fonts which are related to Roboto. So I'm going with Roboto Bold Italic. So I will just click on it and after that I will click on select. And I will click on this one as well and from here I will search for Roboto again. And here it is. I will click on Roboto Bold Italic and I will click on select. So I have changed my font 
successfully. So now just close this one and I will close this folder as well. And now we need to change the background of our desktop environment. So for that, I will open my file manager. And after that, I'll go to my pictures folder. I will double click on it. And now I will open my wallpapers folder. I have downloaded these wallpapers from the link which has been given to you in the description of this video. So you can change any of the wallpaper as per your liking. So I'm going with this one. So right click on it and click on set as wallpaper. So we are done with changing our wallpaper. Now we are left with one setting and that is we need to change our dock here. To change our dock, we need to open our terminal. So I will just click on it. And after that, I will write a command to install a dock. So the dock which I'm going to install for my desktop environment is Plank. So I will write a command which is sudo dnf install Plank. Just hit enter. Now I will give my password here. And now I will press Y and hit enter. And now what it will do, it will download the dock for my desktop environment. And after that, it will install it. And then I will be able to use this dock instead of using this one, which is by default present here. So we are almost done with the download process. And now it has started to install the dock into our system. So we are done with downloading and installation of our dock. Now what we need to do before using that dock, which we have just downloaded and install it, we need to remove this one from our screen. So for that, just right click on it and click on remove. And now we need to go to our application and then go to your accessories. And from here, you will be able to see Plank here. So here it is. Earlier, it was not present here because we did not download it and install it. Now it is available here. So I will just click on it. And here we have our dock. So this is how we can make different changes into our XFCE desktop environment to make it more beautiful and stunning. So as you can see the difference, earlier it was looking like an old desktop environment. And after changing some things and after downloading some themes, icons and fonts, now it is looking more newer version and more latest one. So this is how we can make different settings into our XFCE desktop environment. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will see you in another video. Till then, take care.